Hi guys, so welcome back to another let's make a webtoon, how to make a webtoon for beginners. <laughs> I could talk. So we have already covered, what steps have we covered? Adding dialogue, what font I use, speech bubbles, programs I'm using, the webtoon canvas, size, we've covered all of those. You might be wondering, are we getting to the art part? No, <laughs> not yet. Our next action step is to answer the question, can I make a webtoon with paper? Of course you can. How I do it is I like to utilize layers. Now, another question that people also have is, can I draw my webtoon on paper and then add it into Clip Studio Paint? Or should I just start sketching directly digitally instead and just skip the whole paper process? Do whatever you like. There, the, For me, for the type of person that I am, there is no wrong answer. As long as you're having fun, in my eyes, there's no wrong answer. I know other people could be like, no, you could save more time if you just start digitally sketching and just skip the paper process. And other people might be like, I'm uncomfortable drawing digitally. I want to just draw it all on paper and then just scan in that way. Both matter. Both are correct answers. Both are good. It just depends on what makes you happy in my eyes. So whatever makes you happy, do that. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So our action step for this video is we're going to learn about layers. We're going to learn how to add layers and we're going to learn how to add images. And then your action step is you're going to add an image to your webtoon canvas. Okay. Why do we have to do that? It's helpful for if you don't know how to like draw a hand and so like you take a picture because you might not have like you might not be feel comfortable using the 3D models you know you can just take a picture of your hand and then you can add that image into Cliff Studio Paint and just like do what I do and trace over your hands or just do whatever you feel like doing some people could draw from memory do that do whatever it makes you happy so yeah let's jump on into it did you guys do your action step from the last video mm hmm if not, it's fine. <laughs> Again, I don't care. Let's go. Okay, first thing I want to mention. You do not need to work in layers. If you like to just draw everything all on the same layer, you can do that. There are people that do that. So for those of you who like, oh, I must use layers, but I don't like using layers, you don't have to use layers. It's okay. You could do it all in one layer. There are people that do that. Let me show you how you can import your pictures or your sketches from your notebook. What have you. Let me show you how you can import it. It's super easy. We already have, let me just hide this. If you're wondering what's your webtoon canvas size, I have that listed in the video in the, like at the start of this playlist, but I'll go ahead and show you just in case you're like, I don't want to watch all that. It's okay. I'll go ahead and show you. This is the webtoon size I like to use because I print my comics later on for paperback. So having a high resolution helps me to be able to Woo. have my pictures not be blurry when I print it. It's nice and crisp. So that's why I draw in a higher resolution because I like to print my stuff but if you are just playing on publishing it online then you know you don't have to do what I do. But this has my lines nice and crisp. But this is my webtoon canvas size. This right here is my Wacom display tablet. My Wacom Cintiq 24 HD display tablet. I, it won't work unless I have it like connected to a computer over there. That's my computer. And then the program I'm using is Clip Studio Paint EX, just in case I forgot to mention that. But anyways, here's how I import an image. I go to File and I go to Import and I just do Image right there. I'm going to import an image now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is an image. I'm using this for another comic page, so just I needed a specific pose, and I didn't feel like having to pose my 3D model to it, nor did I feel like importing this image to the 3D model. But we're not gonna get on that because this is a beginner friendly tutorial on how to make a webtoon, and we're going one step at a time. So, anyways, that's how you that's how you add an image. That's how you can add your sketchbook, notebook page that you ripped out and took a picture of. Just go to import, and there you go. There, there's your image. And now we're gonna talk about layers. This image is in its own layer. Think of it like this is a sheet of paper. This is a sheet of paper. And then now let's add another sheet of paper, our tracing paper. Right here. We're going to add that over top of this paper. We're going to go to, we'll learn about our brushes in the, in the other video. Right now I'm just showing you about our layers in adding images. 
And see, I can just trace over top of it and the layers keeps it separate. See, it's separated. So I could just go ahead and just trace my whole figure for that, like this, like this, just quick, 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 boom. There we go. <laughs> so that's our layers. That's going to be your action step. I want you to import your sketch or your thumbnail of your webtoon, import that. And then I want you to add a new layer over top of it. And I want you to just scribble over top of that layer. I want you to get familiar with that. Or if you don't want to use layers and you just want to just draw directly on here, but you're like, ah, I can't draw on my sketch and I wanted to draw on my sketch. Here's what we're going to do because we can't draw on this sketch. Again, we'll cover brushes in the next video, but we can't draw on the sketch. So if you, you know, are jumping ahead, you can just right click. And we're just going to turn it into, what is it called? A raster, a raster layer. And now we can draw directly on it if, if that's what we want to do. We, we don't want to have layers. You know, you can do that as well. So, but any hoodles, that is your action step. That's your action task for today. Importing images, whether it is a rough draft of your comic page that you did in your sketchbook. Or once you take a picture of it, import it into your program. Or if you're like, no, I don't want to draw anything on, I don't want to do any traditional work. I want to do all digital. I want you to learn how to use the layer button. Let me show you that because I forgot to show you. There are a few different ways that you can make layers. You go here to layer. You can do the raster layer. You see, it made a new layer right here. Or you can go down here and you can click this button and it makes a new layer right there. I like to use the raster layers for my colors. For my line work, I use the vector layer right here, or I can go new layer, vector. Now you might be wondering, what's a raster layer and what's a vector layer? We will not cover that in this video. I just want you guys just to learn how to import images and I want you to learn how to make a roster layer and a vector layer. That is all that you are doing. Now that you, it's just very simple, easy, because we our goal is not to get overwhelmed by too much information, you know? So learn how to add a vector layer, learn how to add a raster layer, and learn how to import an image of your stuff that I showed you. Yes, that is your homework, and we shall do the next step in the next video. I hope you guys are having fun. I've been seeing a lot of your comments. You guys are so sweet, and I'm really glad that this is helping. So, again, just to paraphrase, if you guys are like, I don't have Clip Studio Paint, don't worry, we'll do another series going over the same process for Ibis Paint, Metabong Paint, what have you. Right now, we're just we're going through the first series with this. If you want to have the whole shebang all at once and you are like, I want to know how to make a webtoon now, I do have an ebook. Yeah, I do have a website that also, that the website has all of the, <laughs> that information as well. Or you could just, you know, download the ebook. It's linked in my description box. Okay, I gotta go. It's getting late and I need to get dinner ready. Bye, guys. No, we're not. Hold on. Hold on. How, how has that worked out for you in the Thank you. That's a very good USB drive, mommy. But you know, thank you. I went to mom's house and she talked about mac and cheese for comfort. And then that's when I said, well, wait, mom told me, yeah, she's making mac and cheese for comfort. What's wrong with that? Right. Then you was like, uh uh. She ain't supposed to be eating that. She needs vegan cheese. She ain't poop. That's what you said. Mommy, put this. To the nose. Thumb to the nose. Now twist upside down. Put on your eyes. Put, put on your eyes. Put it on the lid. Now the lid. Put, up, put on your eyes. No! Upside down. Mom, Mom look at my. Look at, now just keep turning. And you gotta. Un Here, you show Nana, cause she's struggling. There's there you go. Way. Yeah, good job. I ain't told the wrong way. Buddy. I ain't told the wrong way. I was doing it the wrong right way. No, you know what? You can kick rocks. What are you doing? <laughs> now you know what? You went to Huber Heights public school system, and I know they taught you good. I know that your man should not be in here doing none of it. What are you doing? So you got you paid people to do this. I 
want it done. I want it done now. Yolanda, Lord, you gonna have to help with this woman and this craziness. You're acting like freaking Virginia. Stop. <laughs> go sit down. It's my time. No, look at job. No, go sit down. You ain't even got the tape on the thing. The tape ain't. <laughs> What? The tape ain't even. I still see brown from the tape. Go sit down. You see brown where? <sighs> I'm sitting down. I don't think this is the kind of sitting down she's talking about, Ma. And I'm not stretching. <laughs> My mom was going crazy. My mom has a shoe addiction, so let me show you the shoes she got. So I have to help. I had to go get the baby needed some shoes. Why do I have to have an addiction? Because mommy can't have a ministry. This is this is her shoe ministry. Let's look at the scriptures that she has within today's lesson ministry. plan. It says it's better to give than to receive. And I gave. He said, be a cheerful giver. Who oh, shoes are these? Now them are some banging boots. <laughs> Those will look so so nice with a nice jean skirt. These are your shoes. You want to try them on? Thank you, Ree. We're buying mommy some shoes. You're such a good baby girl. You're welcome. Oh, Who was last time you up in the hospital? I don't know. 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 I don